Okay, I've been shopping and bought some parts. Now I was going to do this in sort of more autumn time, but there was a real good deal on the prices and that, and I thought I'll buy it now. Um, I don't know whether I'll put it together before autumn. I probably will start on it, but um, we'll see how we get on. So today I'm just going to look at these bits and pieces that I've picked up and um, go from there. Now this isn't a review or anything like that, nothing in detail, it's just a casual look at some new components because I'm going to build another PC and um, I've got an old 8 core Athlon which obviously has done its time, it's still alright for rendering and that but this, this thing will be a lot better that I'm going to put together. So starting off we've got an ASRock. I was deciding between Gigabyte Asus and ASRock and I went with ASRock. It just seemed to have a few more of the bits I needed, a few more little bit features and that and never tried ASRock as such. I've always gone with Asus but I, yeah, after looking at all the reviews and that they're bored, yeah they look alright but it wasn't quite what I wanted and I thought well I'll try something new anyway. It's always good to try new things. Gigabyte, yeah again looking at their boards but I've had gigabytes before I've had a good one but I've had some sketchy ones as well and I've actually had more sketchy ones than I've had good ones and um, probably just the luck of the draw but um, hopefully this board will be okay so let's have a quick look inside so you've got all your manuals you've got your drives you get a sticker with it quite a nice sticker Cables, got some kind of miniature screw for something, a couple of those actually. I'm not sure what they're for, but I'm sure. Oh, I know what they're for. They're probably for the uh, M2 slots. Possibly to hold in your M2 drives. Got your back plate, it's just a standard push in back plate. Uh, Yes, yeah, so I'm not wearing a static band, but we don't really have that in a very humid weather. It's not like it's super dry, so there you go. You've got two PCIe, um, four slots for your RAM, obviously a processor. You've got some nice heat sinks on there. You've got, what have we got here? We've got, there's actually six USB 3. This is the new C type with a reversible one, so you've got the five there plus plus that one, making it six, you can call that one. You've got two USB 2.0s, you've got your normal keyboard mouse socket, HDMI, DVI, and whatever the other one was. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Looks alright. Slightly different colour. Big back plate on the back. Slightly different colours. Well, usually, normally it's sort of reds, blacks, blues, you know, but this time we went with the black and white. So um, we'll see how we get on with that. But for now, we'll put that away and we'll move on to the next one. Chuck all that in there, chuck all that in there. And there we go. So, the processor. Horizon. Well, what did you expect? It was going to be a Ryzen. I mean, I obviously do the gaming, but I render as well, and this is ideal for it. Now, this is a Ryzen 5. I didn't go with the 7. Um, I kind of summed up what I needed. Uh, this is perfectly adequate. It's just 1600. Could overclock it for one, but at the moment, don't need to do any of that. I mean, this is probably going to just, should just kick ass. And like I say, as far as the rendering goes, it is going to. I mean, I've been using an Athlon you know, 8 core. I mean, seriously, this is going to be a hell of an upgrade. Plus, in the future, like I say, after a couple of years, we can always replace parts, get um, better ones, and we'll see what, what's on the market then, and the prices. Again, a lot of it's down to price. Um, it's not all about just going out and buying the biggest and most powerful. And I mean, quite often, a lot of these things, like the motherboard, I bought for what I needed, not with all the added extras. I mean, it's a 350. It could have been the 3... what's it? 70. 
and I don't need all the extra USBs and all the rest of it that are on there to be honest I mean I've got several computers and I use several different ones at a time so I'm never sort of I don't have everything sort of fixed onto one computer so anyway let us I should have brought a knife would have been my, my, my life a bit easier okay got a knife I'll do this without damaging anything. So, obviously you've got your CPU in there, but you all know what that's like. Um, I just want to see what the fan's like. This is the stock one. I'm going with the stock for now. I can always put on a, a different one later. So you've got your yeah, you've got the stuff on the bottom there. Your thermal paste. It's pretty substantial, to be honest. It's um, a lot better than I thought it would look. Quite a bit of weight to it. Right. We will not. And then we'll put that back on for now. So yeah, I'll be going with the stock fan for now. Like I say, I can always switch it out in the future. It's one of these things, you know, you buy up the parts, and I bought sort of all the parts that... Um, that um, will get it all set up and then later on I can always add stuff to it, you know, put bigger fans on, do whatever I like. RAM, so we've gone with some Vengeance LED. Now, this RAM actually, I don't think it's on the list uh, of verified vendors or whatever, but they're still adding to it, you know, with updates to the uh, BIOS and that, so hopefully it'll work. I may come on stock, who knows, but we've got 16 gigabytes for now, 3000 megahertz, uh, it's two times eight gigabyte sticks so I'm going to be shoving that in and hopefully it's got red LEDs on it so like I say whether it's going to work or not, I did see somebody's actually put this in uh, the same board and they reckon it works and so we'll find out I also picked up one of these now I've never, the, the Western Digital, I I've had their hard drives, and to be honest, their hard drives have been alright, but over a period of time, I have had two that have failed. Um, probably just too old, you know, they probably just got too old and that, but... Um, so I've never really sort of bothered too much with Western Digital, but again, this was a price decision, because it's 500 gigabytes. I uh, can't remember what exactly what the price was for it, you'll find it on eBuy, and it's pretty new, and from what I'm seeing about it, it's getting some quite high reviews, so... You know, I thought I'd try this. Plus, again, price. It's got a three-year guarantee on it, it appears. So, uh, yeah. And to power everything, we have one of these. An EVGA 650 watt. Now, I was going to go with the 500 or 550 watt. Um, but this was actually cheaper than the 550. So, why not? It's a gold plus rated. Um... I always go with a, a better power unit, always, because I did have a power unit go on me years ago and it basically killed the graphics card, damaged the chip uh, at the time, I think it was a Pentium 4 or something like that, but it did a lot of damage. And for that reason, I've always gone with a higher um, quality power unit. I think the power unit I actually used originally came with the case I bought. And something, literally, it was oh, within days of buying it, it it went wrong and it destroyed most of the equipment I just bought so I wasn't impressed by that so ever since then I always get a better power unit if I can so finally probably the cheapest part of the build is this this costs 17 pounds I know it's really cheap now I've got a slight advantage on it in the fact that um, would I have normally bought it probably not but then again I've got this see that in the corner just about so the leads a bit short at the moment from where it's coming from um, and I've used this, and I've been using this gaming, and I've had no problems with it. And this mouse cost around about six pounds. I mean, dirt cheap. I mean, I bought it as a spare, just to you know have a spare mouse in case mine ever broke. And I've actually been using it, and I'm actually finding it really quite good. Um, you know, it's got a plastic lead. I prefer the uh, what's it, the braided leads, but the plastic leads are right. And I mean, the whole thing is quite good, it's lit, it changes colour slowly, 
it's not an intrusive colour, so it doesn't distract the eye when you're playing and that. Um, it is very light, it does feel very cheap, but it, surprisingly enough, it's been working perfectly fine. So I thought I'd get this. I actually got this um, here mostly for the keyboard because I've got a backlit one and uh, the keys are worn out and one of the keys is a bit knackered and you know how it goes. So I decided I need to change one. Now I've got another keyboard which works perfectly fine as well. But I've, I've troubled with the, the position slightly of the key. I tend to hit, uh, one of the keys I tend to hit wrong quite often when I'm gaming. So I thought I'll pick up another one of these and just, just to see. I mean, if it's as good as the mouse, then who knows. So let's have a look. So you know what, pretty much what the mouse looks like. Because it's exactly the same as the one I just showed you. Which is that one. So, weight-wise, it's kind of a medium weight. Keys feel very nice. Actually, I'll tell you one thing that's different. Let me just check something. Yeah, it's got it's got quiet keys. You, I don't know if you can hear that. That's another keyboard I've got, and that's another thing when you're recording. You can pick up that clicking of keys, which can be a little bit irritating for some people, especially if you're mashing a key. But this. I mean, okay, the, that makes a lot of noise. But these keys, they're almost like got quiet rubber under them. They're really actually quite quiet. Just the, the space bar's loud, so don't mash the space bar. Um, yeah, I mean, looks all right. Let me just... I don't think my computer's going to like this because I've already got a keyboard in, but let me just see if we can... There we go. We have colour. Now, I don't know how to change the colour yet, because I haven't actually uh, read the book or looked into it. Unless... let me just try something. That one maybe... that one maybe... no. Okay, well anyway, it's set in red, that's fine. So that's pretty much what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that, the light, the other light's affecting it a bit, maybe. But, um, no, it looks alright, whether it actually works or out okay and is usable is another thing. But it definitely feels okay, and the weight isn't bad. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's not extremely light either. It's kind of a medium weight, so only time will tell. And like I say, we'll put it all together and we'll start using it. And um, in the future, if things aren't right, I'll just I'll just put a um, piece underneath the video to uh, let you know. Now, for all these bits and pieces that we've got, which is like say the power unit, the processor. 16 gigabytes, uh, the keyboard and mouse, which I won't put up, which is there, but I won't put it up because there's not enough room. The motherboard, get rid of that. The motherboard and the hard drive, 500 gigs. Total price was with tax around about 715 British pounds. Take off the tax, you're looking at about £600. So depending on where you are, it depends on whether you're going to be paying VAT or not. Um, and that, as far as I'm concerned, is a damn good price for the Ryzen 5 and the motherboard and 500 gigs of space, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 650 watt of power, and a keyboard and mouse to boot. So there you go. Like I say, we'll put that together and we'll be back either on the end of this video or on another separate little video just to see how it runs. Well, there it is, all put together. Now I've put it in an old X-Blade case and bother getting a new case for it. You can see in there, you have got the... Come out of it, I've got a box in the way, that's the trouble. You've got your red... Um, memory which kind of flashes and stuff blue lights coming off the RX 480 and I've got a fan at the back and there's a, like a blue one at the front you can see at the front here it, uh, you probably can't see oh yeah, you can just shine through blue and that it, um, it's got a very sort of dark sort of book just mainly black theme really um, not sure about the uh, SSD though, the blue, I might have to just cover that up. 
uh, it's kept kind of basic so you need nice and clear so that you can get good airflow through it and um, very quiet so I've already started it up and tried it out a little bit I haven't gone too crazy yet and um, no, it, it, it runs very fast so we'll see how we get on with games when I get some of those set up onto it